Hello there, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review another ROM for Redmi Note 8. And this is one of the best ROM for Redmi Note 8. You can find it. So I haven't used this ROM previously. So I haven't recommend this ROM to you. But I used to recommend like Pixel Plus UI or Addo or Havoc ROM. But this one is actually pass all of them and this is one of the best rom i think i have ever used on my redmi note 8 so first of all let's just jump into the, our video so as you can see uh the rom is very simple uh it doesn't come with gfs so you have to install gfs separately and i have installed bit gfs and uh it's working just fine with that so first of all let's go and check our android version and other things so as you can see here we are running on android 12 and this is see a droid rom uh, unfortunately actually um i haven't used this rom previously and i all i have downloaded the rom but i didn't flash it but recently when i was looking for the rom then i found it and i just flashed it and Actually, this is one of the best ROM you can find for Redmi Note 8. So we are running on 8.8. .8. Maybe if you use another uh, version of this ROM, you may find some bugs. But as for now, this build doesn't have any bug. So I didn't able to find any bug on this ROM. Usually, if you install custom ROM, you may get a bug here and there. But this ROM, I didn't get any of them. So first of all, as you can see here, we are we are getting uh, Android 12 and the security patch level is 5 August 2022 and it's quite okay. W this ROM has one downside also, I will talk about that. So first of all, let's check what we are getting with this ROM. So the apps we are getting is uh, really simple, you will get with other ROMs, but it has a uh, few apps which are not, you will not be able to find in another ROM. Uh, so you are getting Android FX, which is uh, you can get in many ROMs. But there are two apps which you will not get. One is Metalock, and another is like there are another apps. So Metalocks, I don't know what use of Metalocks, but it's there. I didn't delete it, so it's here. And also you are getting a dedicated app for game space. So if you open it, maybe if you use playing game. So recently I I'm started playing COD again, and I have tried that COD on this rom and it's running really well so i have no complaint so recently i just played the cod now and the performance was quite good so the smoothness of the rom you will see that it did not struggle so i didn't find any sluggishness or any hang or anything like that like app closing or anything so i didn't able to find so it's a fabulous rom in that way there is no bugs at all so as i said there is a downside of this rom so as i know most, most of us use um, our phone as a hotspot also so if you go to the hotspot option um there is no option of uh, sharing 5 gigahertz band so you can only stuck on 2.4 gigahertz so you can't choose that maybe uh, <clears throat> maybe in future build you will get it but in this build uh, i couldn't able to find that in the 5 gigahertz band option and another option is that if you are uh, like customization so i really like a uh, subtle customization to the ui if i get subtle customization uh, it's quite good that i can tweak a little bit of the visual things so you are you are getting some customization here so they are actually quite good layout so you can find everything very simply like uh, last time i reviewed the that one is uh, i already forgotten so the ui uh, the enchant os i have reviewed recently that one also has like uh, subtle features but the, the thing is that if you try to find any uh, setting on that it's quite difficult you may not able to find the right setting to do that so it's quite difficult to do this so as you can see here everything is working fine and another thing is that xiaomi parts also available on this rom so if you are getting the uh, skin burning issue so you can tweak it a little bit so i have i haven't uh, i have already activated that so that not to get a uh, screen burning issue so it's really common in redmi noted that uh, the screen burning issue is so so that like most of the custom rom they put this setting to reduce it or not to get it so everything is working fine like fingerprint is quite like first here so if i put it you can see 
just tap it and it's work fine and rather than that all you are also getting uh, me cam so if i open me cam as you can see here so front camera let me show you so front camera is working and if i put the back camera so back camera is also working there is no issue with this ROM actually I haven't found any issue but if you using if you are going to install this ROM I will put the link in the description and you try it maybe you will not change ROM anymore after this but as I have to do review and other things so I will uh, going to change this ROM maybe to another one uh, let's see which one and in future you will get the video that that uh, ROM too so you are getting like heavy space and other things and metal lock I don't know what kind of thing is that so there is something going on with this device maybe whatever you use the input things and other things they always maybe it's for developer so those who are developer they may get some information from this thing but as I as for now for me it doesn't matter maybe I will uh, I will disable it so rather than that uh, only one downside is that you are not getting uh, 5 gigahertz band in hotspot another thing is that uh, there is no GFs build maybe uh, maybe there is but I couldn't able to find GFs build so if I go to develop version as you can see yeah, the average ROM consumption is like 2.6 it's quite good and you are getting 1.2 gig of RAM free it's it's, it's same as other ROMs, but as you can see, it's the the fluent the stability of this ROM is actually is far better than even the stock ROM. So it's totally totally worth it in installing this ROM. So uh, so so if I if I have to recommend any ROM right now, I will recommend you this ROM, C Android ROM, and the version I'm recommending here is 8.8, .8, uh, which is running on Android 12. Uh, if you install maybe another version of it or uh, outdated version or latest version or whatever version uh, maybe you can get some bugs because you don't know that custom rom sometimes they, they bring some bugs uh, if, if they don't maintain properly but as for now this rom has no bugs and nothing like that and everything works fine even gcam also have no issue so uh, i have i've been using gcam and everything i've tried everything and everything is is just working like it's a uh, stock rom for this rom so there is no issue and that's it for today uh, if you are thinking about the battery backup so as i said the battery backup is actually actually it's very good maybe you will get six to seven hours screen screen on time on this rom uh if you use like me and uh, play games and other things uh you will get six to seven if you don't use that much maybe it will cover up you one day so that's it for today um about the C Droid ROM. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you.